the Air Spot and Playboys. Welcome back to another video, man. In today's video, man, we're gonna be changing the setup of Dusty. I got a little surprise that Hyrule Racing sent me, and uh, the engine bay should be looking different today. And I'm actually gonna try to wire tug these uh, these wires, the injector harness, because like this just looks disgusting. So hopefully I could do that. But yeah, man, let me show you what Hyrule Racing sent me. They sent me some drip. All right, you guys, let me show you what they sent me, bro. They Hyrule Racing went crazy with this boy. Look at the drip, look at the drip, look at the drip. I don't need that. So, obviously I already opened this because I couldn't wait, but look at that. Damn. Damn. Okay, okay. That's a little something, that's a little something right there. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Damn. Look at that. Look at that drip. Yes, sir. Hyper Racing went in. They gave me an oil cap too. Look at that. That's so fire, bro. I love their oil caps. I got a lanyard. Got a radiator cap because you know the stock radiator. Oh, that's gonna look fire. Dang. Yeah. Stock radiator. Stock radiator cap to me is like stock and ugly, but this looks like really, really nice. I got a cover for my reservoirs. Uh, I think it's for my brake. I think. Yes. Yeah, this has to be for my brake reservoir. But yeah, look at that. That's fire, bro. Got a uh, wristband that I'm actually gonna be wearing because this is kind of dope. And I got a wall banner. That's fire, bro. If you guys are looking to buy anything, make sure you guys buy from Hybrid Racing. Use code Zuby to save some money. And uh, yeah, man, let's get into the video. guys remember me saying like a whole bunch of my videos that I really hate how the wire harness looks in this car um, I, don't, I don't really know how to do this but I'm gonna give it a shot and hopefully I can make it look better than what it is right now so I'm gonna take up these two grounds and I'm gonna try to mount them up right here uh, I do have some uh, washers that I could put to be the ground so I'm gonna give that a shot hopefully it works if it doesn't then uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm not really I'm not really too worried about the wires because um, I am using plug and play connectors so like I can literally just have the wires hanging down right here like be below the RBC and it should be able to still reach these that's what I really care about so yeah man let's give it a shot hopefully I can clean this up if this looks a mess all my soldiers y'all know what time it is y'all know what time it is everybody to the right everybody to the left Put your motherfucking fist up and show them niggas who the best. Say we gon' rise, we gon' rise. Say we gon' rise. rise. Alright guys, so I stopped recording so I didn't want my camera to die. But this is how I got it so far. Uh, basically took off all that electric electrical tape that I had on it and I rotted it under the manifold. And luckily enough, these do reach. So I do have them plug in right now. Um, just making sure that I have each one correctly plugged in. So yeah, this is the first injector. Well, fourth, third, second, first. And uh, yeah, they look correct. So, should be fine. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put the grounds because I don't want them here anymore. So I'm hoping I could put it like right here or like, I don't know, that bolt right there. Get the focus that one or i don't know i'm gonna figure it out though but well, it looks good so far all right guys so basically everything's finished i got my grounds all set up i have one ground right here uh come on focus right there as you guys can see and then my other ground is gonna mount up right here uh, i'm still trying to figure out how i'm gonna mount that i was trying to mount it over this side because there's two there's two uh there's two holes that you can use but this one has a stud in it and i didn't take out the stud when i installed the rbc so i can't use that hole so I can't have them I can't have them looking super clean but I can definitely have it looking better than what it looked like before so I'm gonna put this right here and uh, hopefully hopefully uh, it looks better but from what I'm seeing right now it looks good what do you guys think I think this looks better than that crow nest I had before this looks way better alright guys so Everything's plugged in. Got the hybrid racing fuel on. 
with the gauge. Look at the drip. Like I said, uh, I had a ground mounted right here to the back of the manifold. Um, I was trying to put this ground here, but I couldn't reach it because I do still have a stud that's connected to the manifold. Um, I never took it out when I installed the RBC. I should have, but I just forgot about it when I was painting it and all that stuff. But as you guys can see, it looks good. Only thing that's an eye kill or eyesore is this right here, this ground. Um, I wanted to mount it right here, like I said before, with that bolt. The focus. But that bolt is too big, so it won't fit. But I'm going to find something to do with it. But definitely looks better than what it looked like before. Leave down below on what you guys think. Um, I honestly think this looks way better. Needs a little few, few little more uh, touches here and there. I do want to clean my valve cover because it is disgusting. But I always could do that another day. But now, we still got to add a little bit more drip. I got a hybrid racing radiator cap to throw on. And an oil cap. And the reservoir cover. Which is all over here. Shout out to Mr. Brown for helping me. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> so yeah, man, let's get it. Look at the drip. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Look at the drip. Now I gotta figure out how you open this. Oh, that's how you open it. That's fire. Goodness gracious. Look at this. Trash. I don't even know how I had a dent in it. I don't know what I did to this, but it's, I'm glad it's going for this. This looks so much better. Oh, that's fire. Oh, that's fire. Dang! That looks good! Bro, look at that. That looks good, bro. It's so like, dang, hybrid. Y'all killing it, man. If you guys are looking for something to spice up an engine bay, head down to Hybrid Racing, bro, and get this oil cap. Use code Zuvi, help you save some money. Bro, that thing, it looks so good in the car. I just need to throw on the radiator cap, the reservoir, and give this car a big and like wash. Oh my gosh, bro, I, keep, I can't get over it. It looks so good. That looks so good. Man, that looks really good. Mm, that looks nice. All right, guys, so basically done with the mortar. Oh, the mortar. Basically done putting everything on. It looks nice. It looks very clean. Well, not too clean because the valve cover looked like booty. But um, I am going to fix that eventually. Oh, by the way, I did paint my oil cap. Not oil cap, my oil dipstick. It's usually orange. I wanted it to be black to see how it looked. And I actually like it a lot. So now I'm planning on getting a black dipstick or, or a hybrid racing dipstick. Dipstick hybrid racing dipstick but the thing with hybrid is that they're sold out right now so i couldn't get that um i don't really have an idea when they're going to be back in stock but i would love that because just like the whole hybrid setup going on right now looks great i don't want to put no other brand on the car so if you guys do have a hybrid one for sale let me know i'll buy it straightly like right now like i'll buy it today or i don't even know why i'm gonna drop this video i'll probably have it before i even drop this video but yeah, man. Um, I need a new valve cover. Valve cover look like booty cheeks, bruh. But I'm going to try to fix it. I'm going to try to clean it up. Don't really know if that's going to work. I was going to spray it down with some purple power and uh, just scrub it. But then I'm thinking, like, it probably took off the paint. So I, if you guys have a... Uh, so if you guys have a spare uh, K24 Z, Z7 head, like the valve cover head, please DM me. I will buy it from you. Please don't try to wax me and tell me like some outrageous price, like $200 for, for a valve cover head, because I ain't playing that. I would rather go to like a junkyard and get a Z3 head and call it a day. Well, Z3 uh, cover and call it a day. So don't try to wax me, because I know I, I know how much they're worth. But, uh, yeah, man. Let me give you some cinematic advantage because they look pretty damn good. Put dirty down. I was racing, you make a break, you know the Alright guys, so 
I hope you enjoyed our little cinematics, man. Dusty is slowly but surely getting to the way I want her. Um, I just have little things I gotta fix, like that valve cover, bro. That valve cover is hideous. But it is my fault because I did spray it and I didn't take great care of it like how I usually do with things. But it's okay because I'm gonna fix it. But yeah, man, if you guys notice, I've been wearing my new shirt. Um, this is just a sample. I try to show you guys the back. I'll probably put it up. I'll probably put a picture of me wearing it right here. If you guys are interested on this shirt, well, this not this sample, but the original one, I'm gonna put the original one right here. It's gonna be for sale probably Sunday at 6 p.m. So today is, tell you guys the date. Today is Friday, April 23rd. This video should be dropping Sunday at, at five and shirts release at six. So if you guys wanna go copy one of these shirts, I also have jackets or, well, I haven't decided which one yet, but either or is gonna be fire, bro. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, use my code ZUI at Hybrid Racing to save some money, and your boy's out. Peace.